making my way. I've decided to take a short cut through the bushland. Actually, no, I might go down this way. Right at the back of that house. This will be interesting. Feet are getting wet, of course. See how they've created a fire break between the bushland and the homes? It's very soft soil. I'm carrying a fair amount of weight. That's the back of the... Uh, looks like a 60s era home. Look at this, this tree here. That's been here forever. I'd say that was all, all of this is part of that land, I'd say. They've just left, they've maintained some of it. There's something, some old steel structure there, remains of it. Oh, this will take us right past, oh. Pile of bricks there. But there's the 60s era home. Pile of bricks, obviously, at some point, someone was going to build something. Just left there. There's the old tumble down home, which is all fenced in from this side, anyway. Again, it's well maintained in the sense of. Oh, look at that. It's interesting. That would have been for a tank, water tank at some time. Here's a back view of the. Uh, tumbled down home, which looks like it could have been 1920s, 1930s era, I'd say. left this I, I don't know I think that's more of a safety thing putting that fence up to keep kids away from it because it's dangerous let's say they own all this land it's worth millions 10 million dollars 20 million dollars and today is uh, if you subdivide it all right that's uh, a view a different view of it's just rotting away, isn't it? Look at this, melons. Growing wild. See, they, they break open, they rot and mold, and they just keep on receding. Melons there, so. Look at this. Zooming four times, coming around slowly, and I can feel some rain coming, so I'm going to move it. 